Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to sunny Southern California. Time to return this rental truck. It is absolutely dumping out here in Southern California. But yeah, first things first, we need to get down to the gas station and top off the fuel tank. We're down to three quarters. Then we're gonna get her back down to Enterprise where she belongs. And then she can eventually make her way back down to the great state of Texas. But yeah, um, now they're saying we have like nine days of rain, so. I felt like quite the carpenter in this F-150 for the last two days as it seems like every business seems to be using white F-150s for their work trucks, but here we are at Enterprise. And just like that, we are back here at Coastline CDJR and we're here in the new Ram. I missed this thing. I didn't have it for the last two days as they were installing the bed liner, so I'm very happy to have it back. Um, but yeah, let's show you guys what they did somewhere else because this weather is out of control. I've really grown to love the automatic gear selector there with that knob. It's really cool, it's really nice, it's really convenient. I wasn't really aware of the fact that my truck had rain sensing auto wipers. How sick is that? Well, it looks like the rain has finally let up for a few minutes, so without, whoa, whoa, whoa. That was a close call. Of all places I could have parked, had to be right by a puddle. But without further ado, I present to you guys my freshly bedlined box in my 2020 Ram 1500. Dang, this looks really good. I love that nice like satiny black finish to it. It looks really, really good. They did a very detailed good job. So far, it looks so good. I am not really seeing any imperfections thus far. They did a really nice masking job. It isn't on very thick, but nonetheless, I mean, for what I paid for it, I can't really complain, and that's kind of what I expected. See a little scuff mark right there. That is what they have to do before actually laying on the bed liner. Everything needs to be scuffed down, so all the paint needs to be sort of sanded, so the bed liner has a nice surface to bite into. Uh, but overall, they did a very clean job with the masking. Everything looks really smooth. I don't really see any high spots yet. I would jump in there, but it is still curing for the next, what they're telling me, 30 days. So I guess we're chilling without putting anything in here that's heavy for the next 30 days. I'm gonna stay out of the bed, but overall it does look really nice. From here, I love how everything's been covered nice and evenly. I can see all the hooks have been done nice. Everything was prepped properly. Everything was removed and it looks overall really, really nice. But when it comes to bed liners, there's sort of three different versions that you can go with. Number one is going to be the spraying version such as this one. Number two is going to be the drop-in bed liner. Number three is going to be for the do-it-yourselfers, the roll-on bed liner. Now within those three versions of the bed liner, there's going to be different versions of those three as well. With these spray and bed liners, there are gonna be a few different options to go with. Option number one is going to be a 100% polyurethane coating like the one I have right here. And with that being said, it is going to be the softest finish. It is gonna dry, it's gonna cure like a plastic almost. It's very smooth to the feel, not the texture, but the glide feels just like the caps on my bedside right here. Obviously with a rougher finish, but it does glide real nice. A polyurethane is going to have the softest feel to it. One step up from the 100% polyurethane coating is going to be a hybrid coating between polyurethane and polyuria. Once you start throwing polyuria in the mix, that's where you really start to get that higher level of protection and impact resistance and a little bit rougher of a finish. So when you go to glide your hand on it, for example, it is going to catch those fingers. And if you throw boxes in there, it's gonna grip everything a lot harder. This I would say is probably the best for your daily use if you don't do anything too heavy duty. Uh, as far as hauling goes, then I think a polyurethane coating is gonna be fine for people like you and me. But if you do heavy duty hauling, then you wanna start getting into at least a hybrid. If that's not good enough for you, then a full polyurea coating is going to be for you, but you are gonna drop a bag on that. I have the Raptor liner. This is a 100% polyurethane coating. It does have that real nice slick finish to it, so I can throw things in the bed of my truck and glide them out real nice without worrying about whatever it is I threw in the bed of my truck getting caught up in that roughness. Additionally, with the spray and bed liners, there is going to be two different ways of actually installing it. There's going to be high pressure, high heat, and low pressure, low heat. Now don't quote me, but when they do a high pressure, high heat, I think it's somewhere around 2,500 PSI and around two to 300 degrees. I'm not positive on that one, but yes, high pressure, high heat is better for 
a much smoother finish. So when you go low pressure, low heat, you're gonna see a lot more of this sort of chunkiness to it, as where if they go high pressure, high heat, it comes out a lot finer, a lot smoother, more aesthetically pleasing to the eye. Outside of the spray in bed liners, there are going to be the drop in bed liner options. The drop in bed liner options come in a couple different shapes and sizes, popular being the plastic liner that goes around the bottom all the way around the sides. They are vehicle specific, they are tailor made for your truck and they are very easy to install. You just drop them in, tuck them underneath the bed caps here and hold them down using some fasteners and the factory mounting location. They are very easy to install. That's pretty much all there is to it. The number one complaint I hear from people is that it allows a lot of dirt, debris, rain, snow, mud to get in between the bed liner and the bed of your truck, which creates a very abrasive contact between the two, which is going to be very counterproductive if you ask me, being that the entire point of the bed liner is to protect the actual bed. Another version of the drop-in bed liner is going to be the mat, which isn't really gonna be a drop-in bed liner, but it falls in the same category. The mats are very affordable as well. They range between somewhere around 100 bucks. I know Dewalt makes one for around 200 bucks, which is pretty cool, and that is as simple as just setting it there on the bottom portion of your bed, and that is all there is to it. They're normally made of a rubber, and you can pull them out at any given time, wash them off, replace them, they're cheap. Now for my do-it-yourselfers, they make do-it-yourself kits they have available at almost any auto parts store and even Home Depot that you literally roll on to your bed. Now, I don't know about you guys, and I have zero experience with the installation of a roll-on bed cover, nor seeing the end result of one, but I don't trust myself to get that on level whatsoever. I'd imagine me getting a lot of high build areas and it dripping off over my mask area. I don't know. I just feel like it'd be a total mess, but that's just me. I have no experience with them, so take zero advice from me on that one. But yes, there are do-it-yourself kits available out there for you guys. How much did I pay the dealership for the bed liner in my 2020 Ram 1500? Keep in mind this, they don't actually do the install there at the dealership. The dealership just takes your money and then farms it out to a body shop. They are just a middleman. It requires a very special environment, very special equipment, and the dealerships just aren't set up for that. I paid $210 out the door. That was it. That was a fraction of what I got quoted initially, so. I got hooked up on this bed liner. And just like that, it is really starting to come down. So we are going to start this bad boy up. And we outie. And just like that, we are back in the SI. The rain has let up, so we should be okay. Uh, you know, hopefully. We have Starbucks. We're good. We're good? Let's go. Yeah, we're good. We good? I'm scared. Oh <laughs> we have cones, we have cones, we have cones. Okay, we're gonna go for a little slow one here. Oh, I'm, out, I'm, out, I'm, out, I'm 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 out, crazier than the Silverado, honestly. Oh my God, what is that? Ah! And he's scared too, he's holding up for dear life. Oh he's trying to bite me! I think it flew out this way. For sure. Uh, yeah. That was the biggest mosquito I think I've ever seen. Coronavirus out here now, Zika coming through. We got everything hitting us left and right. <laughs> that guy just really flashes bright at a Prius. That's rude, Mr. Kia. 
You guys may or may not remember the opening scene to the original Fast and the Furious that came out back in 2001 where the three black Honda Civics hijacked that semi truck. Remember that opening scene like it was yesterday and this is exactly where it was filmed. Up this road a little bit. I went and saw it on my birthday. I forget how old I was but it was the greatest movie of all times to me being the kid that I was who loved cars. Happened to also be in a black Honda Civic. No, I am not here to hijack a semi truck. It is absolutely chaotic here. Everywhere you look, there's containers being pulled off cranes. They're on trains. They're being transported by truck. They're on ships. Everywhere you look, there is just something going on. There's a lot of action out here. It's very busy. It's very loud. I'm chilling right here right now. It's some random little corner. I don't know if it's abandoned or just undeveloped or what, but yeah, we're out here and uh, it's honestly a little creepy because there's no one passing through here. Not even the turn signals work. So yeah, it's kind of an eerie, eerie vibe. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will catch you guys on the next one. Till then, peace out. Oh, 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 oh,